Hi, my name's Sam Metcalf. Today I'm talking to Simon Gray, the Chief Executive of the Invest in Nottingham Club. Can you sum up your experience of being the uh, Chief Executive of the Invest in Nottingham Club so far? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, it's fairly early days. I started 1st of December last year, uh, so we're two or three months into, uh, into the new job. Uh, been very, very interesting. Um, very glad I've taken it on board. Um, I spent the first month or so meeting key sta stakeholders within the club and also on the fringes just to understand what the club was all about, what the key messages were, who the membership are uh, and what the mission is. Um, since then I've gone away and put together a strategic plan uh, which I'm in the process of unveiling, um, shaping the board to deliver on that plan uh, and getting on with, uh, with the business of running the club day to day. And why do you think you were picked for the role? It's a good question, probably one to ask the board, but um, my take on, it, take on it is I'd been a member uh, of Invest in Nottingham Club in my previous business. I'd actually joined, uh, joined the club. So I knew they were you know, an important force within town. Um, so I applied for the role, no detailed job specification as such, uh, more about press, um, strategic um, direction, uh, and also leveraging, leveraging people within the club to do what it's all about, which is you know, promote Nottingham, uh, on the international stage. So um, to answer your question, I think probably because I've worked in recruitment for the last 10 years, um, I understand people. In recruitment there's, there's people on both sides of the transaction, which is a, a very complicated process. And what is Invest in Nottingham Club? Well, it's a, a collection of people doing great things for Nottingham. Um, so I think I tick that box. Um, I think secondly, um, I've got previous experience with the press. Um, last year when Mark Carney came to the region, I was the voice of SME business and jobs. Uh, in my previous company. Um, so I think having that press experience and press contact was attractive um, because this is about promoting the club to, a, to the wider audience on the worldwide stage. Um, and I think lastly, having started a, a, a private sector business um, at the outset of the financial crisis, you know, seen business inside out, warts and all, um, you know, investing in Nottingham Club is principally a private sector organisation. Um, so being able to talk that language um, to the membership is important. What are you doing differently to try and attract inward investment into Nottingham? I think for, for me, it's all about leveraging people and providing the right stories so that those people can go out into the wide world and promote Nottingham. So one of the key changes I brought in is a culture of storytelling, which sounds quite simple, but actually it's very, very powerful. So rather than statistics about inward investment, how many inquiries, how many have gone across the line, let's tell the story about how that opportunity was spotted, who spotted it, um, how it was delivered on and what was the outcome. Because they're very powerful messages that then people can take on their business trips, um, you know, overseas, within the UK, and deliver to help promote Nottingham. So storytelling has been absolutely critical and something new that I brought to the club. Um, what would you like your legacy to the Nottingham business community to be? Wow, big question, big question. Um, I think my legacy is to have taken something that was great and perhaps refocused it, made it slightly better, uh, work more closely with the city to drive inward investment inquiries, put some process around that, um, and to boost, you know, to boost the membership. We stand currently, I think, around about 200 members. Um, you know, I have plans to double that um, within my time at, uh, at the club. So, uh, through more membership, more diversity, more influence, uh, more ability to to help shape and grow this, you know, this great city that we're sat in. Simon Gray, thank you very much. Thank you.